on today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to fix something that we started a long time ago. That would have been 20, 25 years ago. We laid a brick paver alongside the house. And I put sand in as a base, which is not the ideal base, but it did work. Uh, it's lasted 20 years. You should put some kind of a crushed aggregate or rock in there for a base. However, I didn't. Uh, put it in sand. So today what we're going to do is try to fix it. We're going to leave the sand in there just to add a little bit more. But I'll show you one of the problems I did is 20-25 years ago I didn't know about using paver sand. Okay, it's like a, it's a polymer sand that'll, that'll lock those blocks together and it prevents weed and grass from growing in there. Didn't do that so it's been a fight for the last 20 years keeping the weeds down. So we're going to show you. If you follow me you can take a look at our grief flowers were done this year. Uh, this was Carter's kindergarten project. These are potato vines. Love those things. Those are cool. Alright, so this is what we've got going here. You can see that the moss has grown up. All this is is sand in between it, and it's just been a fighting battle. Uh, it's also dropped a little bit from the drain there, so the water is not getting down inside that drain. Now, here's a project we saw us do a couple of weeks ago on replacing the air conditioner. But you can see, I'm going to talk over the air conditioner here, you can see this is what the problem is. There are all these weeds growing in. So, we've got all the brick that we took out. We may not get to this portion today. Okay, I'd like to. But we're definitely going to get that front portion done. All right, so we're going to get started on this project in just a second. Okay, so here's the deal. Look at that gap there. I'm going to recut these. I think we've got enough bricks. And if not, we'll just extend the grass down. I mean, it really won't hurt anything. Um, but uh, I wanted to get it right. That one's a little long. We'll have to cut that one. But... Uh, I'll show you what we did. We set up the wet saw over here. Okay, so I got the wet saw set up. I could do this with a grinder with a, a stone cutting blade on it. My ceramic blade on the grinder, but it makes a lot of dust and a mess. And to be honest with you, just setting this up real quick, this thing will work super duper. Turn that. Unlock. Um, there's a lock pin right here. Pull your lock pin out. Okay. And make sure that that sucker is locked. That keeps it from falling off. Alright, and we got it all set. It should be ready to go. Alright, let's go get some cutting done. Okay, so what I want to show you, these old pavers, this is not a 90, I mean, see? These are, these are fired. Alright. They were used in old forms. These are these uh, Purrington pavers. So uh, it's really not sitting in there good. And I don't want to use a ton of that sand because it's expensive. So I'm just going to square this corner off so it sits in there better. <laughs> Prettiest cut in the world. It'll work though. Let's go put it in. There you go. Lines up. Didn't take much. All right. I'll continue on here. All right, everyone. We've got most of this side done. All we have left are like the odd cuts. So we got Dave's over there working on those. And then we can bring out the poly sand for this side. Alright. Better, better, better. That one's gonna be a jacked up cut. Alright, let me get a grease pencil. Let's 
So we have all of this side slanting that way towards the drain, and all of this side slanting this way, and then it's all coming away from the house. That's good. So, we got all the brick laid. These cuts were real fun. I asked Dave, he broke one. Um, so all we have left to do over here is to put down the poly sand, and we'll grab a bag or two, dump it in, and then you just sweep it, and water it down with your hose, and that'll lock it all tight. All right, so there you go. That's that. Weeds won't grow up through that. We'll work on that tomorrow. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to day two of the walkway project on the south side of our house. So uh, it's oh, what time? 11:30 on Sunday. Just got back from church a little while ago. It is hot and humid today. So, my wife's not feeling good, her asthma is kind of kicking in, so she's inside enjoying the air conditioning. Becca worked uh, double shifts, so she didn't get home until 1.30, so uh, she got up early with the boys and has now gone back to bed for a little bit. So, Ray has got dad duty this morning. He is inside watching Luca, the three-year-old, and Carter, the six-year-old, but Carter, Carter doesn't need much supervision when it comes to playing video games or just watching TV and hanging out. And uh, he stays in the yard. But Luca, that kid's an escape artist. So, uh, Ray's watching him. So I'm going to get started this morning. I'll do some filming over there, but I'm right near those two air conditioners. And being that it's so hot, those things are going to be running all the time. So, there probably won't be a whole lot of sound. We'll, we'll, we'll just add music or something to it so you're not listening to an air compression the whole time. So, uh, stay tuned and we'll get you caught up here. Went to Lowe's and got four more bags of sand and a bag of mortar, a 60-pound bag of mortar. I'll show you what we're going to do with that mortar uh, towards the end of the project. Uh, there's a reason that we got that. But uh, the sand was to continue making that base. So I'll get it loaded up in a wheelbarrow and get it wheeled around. All right, so what I'm going to do is just take them out the same way that they're here. I'm going to lay them right there. 
in the same order. I'll do probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a four or five foot area. And then I'll move on down. So I'll bring you back to just... Okay, well, hopefully you guys, I'll stand close so you can uh, hear over the compressor. Uh, I got the first, oh, I'd say five, six feet out. And I scraped up all the crappy soil right there. And then what I did, I'll bring you back here so you can see. I just laid them out exactly as how they came out, and I'll put them back in. So let me get this cleaned up. I'll bring you back when I start leveling the sand. Okay, uh, we pulled out the next section of brick. I think we're probably going to stop here for today. And we'll finish this little bit right here next week. It is Sunday. We want to take a day of rest as well. So uh, we'll get this shoveled out. We'll get it, uh, sand put in here. Get everything pitched back towards the uh, drain. And a uh, little, little shower coming in here. So uh, we'll keep going. I don't have much battery left, so let's see if we can get this done before the battery. All right, guys, see how this fell in here? It's like sand in an hourglass. That's why you want dry sand, because it'll fall in these little cracks. This damp sand, it didn't do that. But, like I said, at $40 a bag, did pretty good right there. So we'll get another bag here in a couple days, and we'll put it back over those areas and fill it in, wet it down. It'll be all right. I'm not too worried about it. It's not really a walkway that anybody walks on. It's more for just aesthetics. All right, we'll be back in a day or two to finish this up, and we'll wrap up the video then. Okay, so it is day three of this little project. Uh, not as hot. It's a week later. It's a Saturday. Now, what is today? The 14th of August. Uh, not as hot today. So uh, what I started here is I just put, pulled the rest of these out and set them over here and put a little sand in there. I'm going to start leveling this out and getting it back in. Um, we got another bag of locking sand. You can see that a lot of it sunk in. So we'll get this we'll get this done right and then I bought some sealer for it so we'll get the sealing of it as well. So hang on. We'll, be, we'll get going. <music> All right, so we got the pavers done up to here. We got to fix some of the gapping there, but uh, we're going to put some of the new pavers here set in mortar. I'll show you that. And then I got some topsoil in the back. We'll bring the topsoil and fill that up there and there and get some grass seed planted. We'll have to wait tomorrow to put the uh, sand, locking sand down because I need to let the mortar that we're going to put here cure overnight. So we'll bring you back. It wasn't. I didn't film it. It wasn't tough. You know, we made a couple of interesting cuts around there and some over here and go around that, but you guys have seen us do that before, so no biggie. No factor. All right, so we'll bring you back here in just a sec when we do. Whatever, that looks good. 
So, we got the bricks all cut. That was a fun cut for Dave. No factor. <laughs> got it all bordered out in the new brick and finished off the bed that we left undone when we did it. When we put that bed in. Let's get you over here. We're not looking at Dave's butt. We'll do the poly sand tomorrow. Give the mortar some time to set up. So if you enjoyed watching, please hit the like button and please subscribe and tell your friends.